All right, recording has started. We're loading in. It is time for pick. Just like you said. All right. Um, make sure everything is set properly. Well, hello, Miss Roxy. Welcome to Pikmin. For real this time, I didn't keep the recording, but I had attempted to play it the other night. I did, uh, I would just buy it on Switch rather than emulate it. Here we have Olimar about to be hit by his rock again. Very worst pilot slash driver ever seen, because how do you not see that? He was looking right at it, I'm just saying. Um, in a way, it's a bit weird that I ever hesitated buying these to begin with, given how much I love and adore Pikmin, but I get salty when Nintendo does such lazy ports games. So, to be fair, is a more convenient and less buggy way of playing this game in widescreen. Cannot believe it. I just am happy that Pikmin's getting any amount of attention from Nintendo. I'm very glad it's not abandoned to the wastes like F Zero and Star Fox. So, hello! It's been, been quite a while. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor that I drove right into. I must have blacked out, and I woke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost and the skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. Randy. Like matters worse, my atmospheric Hey! Want me to cat attack? Get off my damn desk! To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can repair the dolphin by then, no, better not to think about it. I must find the, the missing ship parts. I heard they changed more than the logo, though, at least insofar as Pikmin 2 is concerned, which... It's another reason I wanted to emulate rather than buy these remasters, but it, in the end I decided it was not a big deal and I'd rather just have it run without issue. Still, I feel they could have gotten this to run at 60. Really feel they could have done that. But, you know, it's Nintendo. mystical red sphere started it all. A strange thing has appeared before me, and barely began my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Yeah, the new logo doesn't have as much character compared to the all flowers. Which I don't know why they did that. Like I like the logos, the original logos that are all flowers. I'm not entirely sure why they changed that. I guess to be consistent with Pikmin 4. But to be fair, why not just make Pikmin 4's logo like the first three? Um no, no. Not as much character. This is unfortunate, but alas. Let's pick this min. See that the onion drop took root in the soil and has not produced a adorable little sprout. This sprout of its strange height and it sways back and forth without bend the wind. Got to help think what it's going to hang compelled. I must approach it and press A. There we go. 
There he is. It's Mr. Pickman himself. Extraordinary. When he put the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature. Not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. The shape is similar to the thick thick brown carrots I love so much. I believe I would call it a thick min. And here I am, stranded on a darker planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I will explain future strolls in some abstract way. Which slightly breaks the immersion, but it is also not bad for a tutorial. Well, hello, hello! Welcome to the stream of what I feel is Nintendo's most underrated series. In grand anticipation of 4 coming out in a few weeks. Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can help get more Pikmin. The onion seems to be sort of an incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Well, Pikmin is honestly one of my favorite Nintendo series. Like, I love it so much. I have fond memories of it. When I first got a GameCube when I was young, my uncle had rented two games from Blockbuster. One was Luigi's Mansion, the other was Pikmin. So it was like my first next-gen, well at the time, game experience along with Luigi. So I have a lot of nostalgia for it. And two, which is my favorite. Um, minor thing, but now I'm very glad I'm doing this rather than the emulator. It's, it's such a minor thing, but the fact that they actually stay when I throw them on top of a flower. I was noticing that and being very annoyed by that in the first game when I tried to play the GameCube version. Which definitely wasn't the case in 2 or 3. I would throw them, they would knock down the flower and run back to me. Then I'd have to throw them again for them to pick it up. And very minor, but immediately noticeable. So I guess they did at least do some quality of life changes. One. Um, I think I can only get ten. First part. No, there's a pellet. You will not trick me, pellet. Oh, what is the button to make them... Oh, okay. Left the bumper and the control stick. Maybe I should have looked at the controls, because they are definitely different than the GameCube. Not majorly, but... While the textures are not that pretty nowadays, um, I feel this game was like one of the best looking, well more so too, was one of the one of the best looking GameCube games when it came out. It was just beautiful for that era of game. To say nothing of just how charming it was in every aspect. are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. The realm of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I can sum up all that I've learned of the Pikmin contact. But yeah, so throw with a B to call them X to dismiss. Um, use ZL or up control perspective. Okay. We're pretty standard. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I wish Nintendo would have put in the effort to maybe make it 60 FPS, just because I don't feel that would have been too bad, but at least they did some stuff to it rather than straight ports. Perhaps higher quality than the Mario trilogy that they ported. I definitely did not buy it, because that was not what I was hoping from that.
only they added the first the um it's not really first person but the close-up camera that two has i always loved using that in two definitely don't seem to have it When there's many Pikmin, I can press A a lot, and then they shall be picked. That's why they are called Pikmin. Give me. We must get the engine. Go forth. Bring me my engine. Amazing, there's no mistaking, my ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Now oh, what? I'll get it back to the dolphin. Well, we will continue our slave labor. That is how we shall get it. I'm telling you, you would like Pikmin. Pikmin is a wonderful series. I am highly anticipating for Yeah, I actually own the Switch version of 3 as well. Like, I played it on Wii U, which I know I was one of, like, the 10 people that owned a Wii U, but secretly I think the Wii U is my favorite Nintendo console. But I have not played the Switch version of 3 yet, though I shall be happy to do so, because I think it actually has some extra content. My goal is to stream in 100% all of them before 4 comes out. Which, uh, will be, should be fine. Will be a bit more interesting to do with more real-life developments. Between work and now all of a sudden potentially owning a house that will take up some real-life time. But, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. Yeah, the character creator gives me a lot of hope for how Pikmin 4 is going to go. Oh, glorious! What the hell are these Pikmin? I'm taking a huge step back toward home. I should be once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. What has become of That search. I don't think I've played Bingo Battle. That's new to the Switch version? Or is that... Because I don't think I've done any of the extra content in 3, though I've heard the term Bingo Battle. I will definitely be doing that, for sure. Whatever it may be. Uh... You know, that's a good question. I, uh... Kinda just bought it and then didn't play it, because... I bought it because it's Pikmin, and I'm not gonna not buy Pikmin. I just had other stuff to play, and I kind of not... got around to it. Oh, well that's even better. One day since impact, I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the pick did not survive overnight on the planet's surface, but they merely decided to burn me for other reasons. So it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 20 my 29 parts. If I cannot recover them all, I may never return home. My family on planet Poco Cape. Now this shows the life support system will function for 29 more days. I to repair my dolphin in such a short And the forest is just on the surface below. If it holds the keys to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. I am curious. Again, it's like a super minor thing, but... I am curious if 4 will continue to pretend it's not Earth like 3 kind of did. I don't know, the world map distinctly made 3 not look like Earth, but the world map in this game, or like the space view in this game in 2, like it's very clearly Earth. I just thought that was weird how the continent view in 3 just did not match up to uh, what they were going for. The dolphin has returned to the surface. I must call the Pikmin because they have work to do. There you go, boom. And now he'll actually carry it rather than run back to me. Amazing. Um, I wish I could say I'm a professional Pikmin speedrunner, but 
I'm probably not going to break my record that I had previously done on this game. Which I don't even remember, but I think it was like 14 days or something. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces yellow nectar, which instantly matures them to flowers. As a parent pickman seems to be full of nutrition. Those are needed to determine the strength and peculiarities of these flower pigment. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's Earth. I just was like the space view in three made it look not like Earth, which is why I was confused. Because you literally collect globes and stuff in two, which are Earth. But maybe I will see when I replay three. I just distinctly remember it not looking like Earth in three randomly. I could be wrong. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Well, I think that they need to break this wall down a bit faster. Perhaps. Um, yeah, it could just be poor memory. I will have to take a better look when I get to it before 4 comes out. Confirmed, he definitely enjoys that, because he is purring, so clearly, no problems there. Uh, I do not know where Xenos is, he's probably in your room. Alright. Boom. Oh, thought I landed on him. There we go. Like a professional. There we go. I'm curious if the enemy parade will still call them grub dogs, or if it will actually call them bull boards. Excuse me, sir, that was very rude. start on that. It's such a charming, beautiful soundtrack this game has. I don't know if I prefer this game's soundtrack over 2. I mean, a lot of the cave things in 2 are really good. But there's just something about this Forest of Awakening music that I just absolutely adore. And the Forest Naval has a good track. That is true, there is a lore reason why he identifies them as grub dogs in this game. Both the bulwarks. So technically, as I recall, in 2 we learn that the children are more often than not imposters and not actually bulwarks. Eternal fuel dynamo has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. Just make it for survival a bit easier. Oh. oh. Fine then. How about you start breaking this, and then we can kill him when all of you are back. How did you guys manage to leave that singular pellet? I am upset. Okay, well, that is definitely, definitely good. Oh, right, that's why. Because it is like... Angea Earth thing. Part of the con it's Earth, but the continents are not as they were 
in reality. That that's why I was confused. Which is fine. I didn't realize that at the time. Which I guess it makes sense that it would be that much later. Um, if there's no humans around. Probably could do a no death run. Hmm. I don't know. Somehow I almost think I would have an easier time in the other game just because I've never been great at the final fight in this game, or at least doing it without someone dying. Definitely a potential idea for a challenge. I also like being reckless and sending all my Pikmin into battle so they can die for me. Their fate. I'm almost not getting enough senses by this one. Pikmin is definitely in the super future of, uh, Earth. But then that begs the question, how are houses and streets and stuff perfectly preserved, still? The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? Ah, uh, um... Quite a few ways, ways actually. Now, is there a way? There is a way. There we go. I could not figure that out in the GameCube version, to the point I almost think the original release of Pikmin 1 not let you swap Pikmin while you were holding them? I swear it had to have, but I couldn't find the button. It is halfway to uh, dusk. Right, dusk is the night one. Yes. No. That would be nice. I mean... Especially when they added multiple captains, it is perfect for co-op. I just, Nintendo... Nintendo still, to this day, is like 10 years behind online functionality. Honestly, they're probably further than that. Because 10 years ago, like, Xbox Live was still, like, good. I'm pretty sure. My old memory. Correct. you what you guys can do. Get on with it. I need you not anymore. Probably. This one is about to see seed 100 Pikmin. The onion stopped expelling seeds. Yet the total number continued to pop. Through some mystical force, only 100 Pikmin can be on the entire planet at once. Somehow. I wonder if that will change in Pikmin 4. I imagine not, but... but... That's another thing, like, everyone has an achievement system, but not Nintendo. And, like, I mean... Mileage may vary how much you value achievements, but... They are kinda nice, if you like them. And they don't hurt if you don't. Little Pikmin picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? Action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. Just what are these? Each one stones. Wait, cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. Perhaps. Perhaps it does. Let us find out. 
And this time I won't blow myself up like I accidentally did. Yeah, that uh that's what I meant mostly. Is I definitely remember that being a thing. And I just found it weird when that wasn't the case. Yeah, the earth looked more normal. Too. And one, I guess, because we do see it from space. Should light things up. No more candles for me. Two out of thirty parts, and if I get three more, I can go to the next area. Not that there isn't still a lot to do here, but so genius that I was when I was testing out the emulator the other day. I was like, oh, let me open the door, but not collect those bombs right in front of it first. Suffice to say, that didn't go well, and I'm not going to do that this time. Oh, and rocks explode. So we must be careful. That's a cliff note of what he said. Which is basically all we need. Um, well, I'm making better time than I was yesterday. Uh oh. Whoopsie, I forgot about. I don't want to throw the bombs. is exactly why I would very easily fail a no death run. I mean, I know I could do it if I really, really tried. But Pikmin is just such a lovely game. And, oh, God damn it! Oh, they're not the the owie ones. They're like the normal ones. Excuse me, sir. That was very rude. Um... Okay. Finally. Get out of the dang way. I want to use these bombs while I still have them. Do I have enough is the question. I don't. It is three. Three per stage. want that though. Yeah, uh, I mean technically they just traded it for another power, but, oh that's true, <laughs> the fractions. I mean the electricity is kind of cool for puzzles, but I don't know why they couldn't also just have bombs and give the others something to do. But maybe they felt that yellows already had like a lot of different benefits because not just could they carry bombs, but they can also be thrown high. Um probably won't be able to get too much else done this first day. underneath the onions, or the dolphin will probably enter on their own, but I must gather all the stragglers, or else they will be too... too foolish, and suffer the consequences of being left alone at night. Speaking of which, where is one Pikmin? Where is one singular Pikmin? Well, I don't have a map, so he's on his own. Sorry to say. Wherever you are. Oh damn, I'm not gonna have enough time to blow up the wall. Or am I? 
Oh, there you are. Well, he's under the onion. He'll be fine. Blow, 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 blow. Boom. Efficiency. Not really, because I'm sure I could have done a lot better, but still. The wall is destroyed. Yeah, that is true. I love blue Pikmin because I love blue. It's my favorite color. So I would definitely love to see them get more use. Um, and I hope the dog doesn't nullify a lot of the use of blue Pikmin based on the trailers. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts with my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. Wowee. But there seem to be many hostile life forms. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship. Press A. And it will be repaired. Everything that functionality of the space of the spaceship just was not damaged by the crash. Or the giant meteor collision. Somehow. I'm also curious how many more new types we'll get. I mean, they showed one new type in the trailer. But surely we'll get more than that. For the most recent video. I think. Technically, when you get the good ending for this game, you can see quite a few different onion colors that we have not yet seen. Maybe. The, do an ana analysis when we get to that point. Come on, gentlemen. We've got work to do. By we, I mean you. Oh, uh, the bombs respawned, so... We're gonna use some of those. And I land it. No, they, they will instead just wander into the water. You win this time, stupid bug. Yeah, that is true. And hopefully we'll get more water-based enemies as well. There weren't that many. I think two, I only remember the, uh, the... I can't remember its actual name, but it's the elephant that shoots water. How many do I have up there? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Excellent work. Just fantastic. 10 out of 10. It is a wonder why the Pikmin are not the dominant life form on this planet. Without my intervention. Accidentally holding another bomb. Well, do be useful this time and not throw it. Uh oh. I believe in you. Or not. Okay, that's that's fine too. Excuse me, sir. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Everything's fine. And 
just to save time. You do that. And you do that. That actually did not destroy it. I expected it to. For the longest time, I did not know that, that Blue Pikmin would save Drowning Pikmin, but that is a very, very useful thing. Important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor. I've now recovered a 3 out of 30. I definitely, um, yeah, it was hard to tell from the trailer if you can do normal stuff. I know there is that weird, I don't even know how to describe what they showed. It looks like there were different objectives during night, but I wonder if you can also just do what you want. I'm also hoping that they're not missing any Pikmin types before, because notably, as I recall, Purple and white were not in the main, the main game, in three. I would, I would hope that everyone is there. In uh, four. Where's everyone else? Oh, they're just sitting there. That would definitely be a welcome change. While there are some parts that aren't easy, I wouldn't say Pikmin's a particularly difficult game, so if Night makes the monsters more interesting to deal with, I would not mind that at all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do safely walk around the side. We're not gonna pick that up. We're gonna walk around so we can defeat him from behind. As soon as we kill his, his pretend son. Oh, hello, Xenos. Do you really like being on my desk, or do you like water bottles? That's what I thought. Yeah. I kind of like the flying ones. I mean, they were weak as hell, but, I mean, they fly. That's also nice. I'm also honestly interested to see a lot of uh, new enemy types and old enemy types we haven't seen in a while. Potentially. Honestly. Again, for some people it might be minor. But what I really want to see is what Pikmin 2 had, which was like the bestiary entry, where you could like, actually have the uh, scientific entries on them, and feed them carrots. I spent so much time doing that in the olden days. It was secretly one of my favorite features of 2. Pretty sure I don't have enough to grab it. Yeah, like the green ghost Pikmin. They come out at night. I am curious if you can use them during. Well, I'm guessing you can't use them during the day, but I'm wondering where they go, or if you have to gather them anew every time. Nova Blast. But this is weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. Can we only get five parts on the first visit here? I think that might actually be the case. Okay, well, 
rather than accidentally throw these bombs. Let me just go get more Pikmin. Gentlemen, I have some backup for you. You don't have to struggle alone for too long. The extraordinary bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is the secret of it. Just look at it. The mark of a true salesman. Honestly, just the more I hear and think about 4, the more I definitely anticipate it. It, it just seems like it's going to be an absolutely wonderful experience. Now, I have way too many bombs, so I'll let me try something. What do you mean you're just going to run away instead of also throw your bomb? Listen here, you little shit. Um, I guess technically, no, I definitely need- Are you kidding me? One sliver of health. One little sliver of health he's got. Bolt's bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. Yes, Boldman. I just wish so much that I could bring Bold into the service in two. But alas, they were relegated to the depths. It also gave me the weird thought, like what if there was an actual parasitic type of Pikmin that you can feed intentionally into enemies and then they become like the Bold basically. Yeah, um... Hmm... You don't... I don't know, I don't think so, but... Let, I'm tempted to try something. Land on him! Holy moly, you damn nerds. Bro, go, go! Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. This will definitely work, probably. Definitely won't get a lot of my Pikmin destroyed. Maybe. I don't think I've ever actually tried this, but we're going to find out. Hello. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, well, sometimes there's sacrifices, in the name of science. A good leader knows exactly who and when to sacrifice. And I think that was a wonderful executive decision. Not that I think I can actually get the part that's over here in the time that we have, but... I push the box. Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. I need more Pikmin. And not so many bombs that will definitely not be helpful. Four is definitely an acceptable number for the benefit we got, which is... Push that and not even... Oh yeah, that is a good point. I'm already sacrificing them, I might as well sacrifice them some more. Like a true leader. Military genius. Not you, I think it's the one that's all the way over here. Maybe it's that one. Eat the bomb. Well that 
Wow. Okay. Go underground for me. Just right quick. No. Well, no. They, uh... That didn't quite work how I wanted it to. That's definitely not gonna work how I want it to. Now I'm just impatiently throwing them because I want to get this part, but I'm definitely not gonna be able to get it in time. You won't eat the bombs. Eat the bomb. There he is. What? It's healthy. Oh yeah. Picky eaters. You look at that and tell me it doesn't look appetizing. I bet for a creature that size, it's just like a delicious warhead. If you like, immediately smash the entire thing with your tongue. Probably. Probably the same feeling. Definitely worth trying. But... I will probably be going to the next area, since... I don't think I can get anything else besides that, currently. Um... Yes, I think. I think that is it. Oopsie, I don't know where the other four are. That's their problem. I'm guessing, like, the barring minor exceptions, canonically, the Pikmin just go extinct in between each game, which is why we just find the onion remnants. They clearly have no survival instincts without us. Now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. They can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new reefs. But in yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into spots and dismissed with blah 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 controls. Yes, very fascinating. Now we go to the forest navel. Which always was a cool area, but to be fair, it's also the inspiration for caves in two, which I really adore. I'm so glad true caves are coming back in 4. That's probably one of the things I'm most excited for. Um, actually, I don't need this many, because I'm about to get blue. How about... Yeah, that is also true. I'm... Like, there clearly are other Pikmin on the planet. Hmm. You. Um, hold on. You just wait there for a second. Don't you... You yellow Pikmin. Here, we reach the superior type of Pikmin, for they are in fact blue. And as we have known from many games I've played, blue is always the superior color. In any context. Okay, well, I'm not letting him win. So, just give me a moment. of yet another color. Near this one, Sheik's, is what appear to be a set of gills. 
Fate suggests to me that this blue type can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. Only one way to find out, because Alamar clearly is also a proponent of, uh, what do you call it, very aggressively sacrificing in the name of science. So mass Pikmin extinction is definitely canon. Okay, that's fine. I will get him yet. Oh. You bastards. Ignore him for now. Um, you know, that's a good question. What the gills, uh, they're 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 foot gills. That's what I'm going with, anyway. Okay. I don't... Oh, God. So I don't remember where his nest is exactly. And allure him with some pellets, at least that pellet. If you can even get that pellet. I don't know, I just want to get more blues and I'll worry about him when I worry about him. Just increase the number of blues. But we need more. We need a blue army. All Alamar needs, needs to leave the planet. I mean, technically, if I'm fast enough, I can go get him. I just hate these flying ones. Yeah, get fucked. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. He's still carrying that simple blue pellet. Where are you going with that? Seriously, sir, where are you going with that one blue pellet? Where are you guys taking it? Oh my lord, I'm so annoyed by it's the pathing on these Pikmin. Where are you going, guys? I admire how strong the Pikmin are, though. Okay. Oh my lord. I did not mean to do that. You guys are fine. Mostly fine. Um, you're kind of stuck there. Yeah, it's not. Uh, handy dandy, handy dandy little way to prevent him from getting stuck. Okay. Now, what are you going for, sir?
Yeah, that might say yellow, but blue supersedes yellow in importance. So, it's not yellows anymore. Space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. I am exactly sure that's how that works. I'm not the space captain, so I can't disprove that that is how space works. Ergo, that must be how space works. He's a professional. Alomar is also apparently really strong because he just pushed that thing right the fuck out of the way to pick that Pikmin. Uh, get on it. more you guys need? Literally one more. Well, you're in luck, because there you go. Um, I would rather spend time getting some of this done. Once that's done, I, th I think the bridges can technically be destroyed, but it'll do for now until I blow open the walls. in case I find more bombs. And more red. Oh, I'm sorry, one single more red. Deal with whatever else. Very useful. Excuse me. Oh, shipping. Well, that's not really ideal, but I don't think he can hit them. Hmm. Um, that is true. Because we went from spaceship parts to treasure to fruit. So Pikmin 4 will be... Not sure. I can't. I don't know if they even said why people are going to the planet in the first place. Some people crash, then you go there and you also crash. But why are they there? Those fire hogs will be dealt with shortly. Ish. Don't even know why I'm building that. That's like so unnecessary. Did you get the space float, the most necessary of additions? An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergency. You need six more to go to another area. And where'd you look? There's another one. The automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving you time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. You know, Alamar, if you rely on that thing for piloting, 
Maybe that's why you hit the giant meteor that you were literally looking at as it crashed into you. Just saying. I guess it would be an asteroid, not a meteor. Semantics. Um... Bizarre. There's thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be alright. Yeah, uh, it should be. That's how I fix ATMs. I just fill the broken parts with dirt. Not really, but, you know, close enough. The question is, is does Alamar want to be saved? Because from the trailer, it looked like he became like some crazy plant man. If that is, in fact, Alamar. Alternate universe. Pikmin 4 is secretly in a dimension where the bad ending is canonical. Wonderful. Flower time. Good, we can't really do much with it. Um, who stopped and why? Oh my lord, you're already a flower. Excuse me, sir. We will not suffer fools. One of them died. Whoever that is deserved it. If they could not survive, they were too weak to survive. Alamar's crew is not a crew for weakness. I stand by my earlier statement, but you don't do that. You can, you can stay out. You can stay over here. Got two, two parts for sure down there. In fact, I actually do have the map. I can like literally see. There's only two parts there. These areas feel so big, but the map makes them look so small, at least compared to two. But then again, I don't even know if two's areas are actually bigger. They feel bigger. I think they're bigger. Um, yeah, they should be fine. Get to work. We've got seven seconds to break this fence. Mayhap I'll deign you survive if you succeed. Mayhap. Okay, fine. I don't want to lose all those Pikmin, even though they've disappointed me. Now, base building I like. That's all you gotta do. Turn this into base building and... We got a star 10 out of 10 game on the horizon. Less than a month away, even. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest I encountered blue pigment. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks. That you can't see, because really by cheeks. Well. He didn't say what cheeks. Something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in alien land. That, that's why we don't see the gills. That they're not on the cheeks that we're thinking of. Now we go back to the forest navel, and we should be able to get most of what's here done, I think. Maybe. I mean, if I was like a pro speedrunner, I'm sure I could, but not. Um, 35 view, maybe. 
do with like 25 of you. Maybe. Actually, I think we might have a need of you. Depending on which ones we go to. I need to find the bombs. Clear path. That sure would be convenient. Pretty sure there's bombs somewhere. Not down here, but... I, I figured we were that close to breaking that down. Great. At least fire is very easy to cure. Except when I let one of them die. But, you know what they say. Death builds character. Or something like that. Someone says that, I'm sure. We don't need to pick the grass. We do want that though. Sure. So you attend to that. Um, about. I always want more blues, so you get this garbage out of the way. elephants to kill. Yeah, that is true. So, I don't entirely mind- oh dear. I did not want to in- I did not want to- Ah. The Wrath of Frog. I did not wish to incur it. Just saying, Nintendo seems to be going big on a lot of their games. Between Odyssey and Zelda. Um, I don't necessarily find big game Pikmin. We'll see uh, how it looks. Well, it'll just walk away. I suppose that's fine too. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean now. Three, yeah, one character in one, two characters in two, three characters in three. I mean, maybe there's four characters in four, but it doesn't look like it. On my gravity jumper, by manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need. It's super light speed. I found it. Literally a spring. Again, as I am not a spaceship person, I'm just going to take for granted that this is actually how space travel works. That is probably not nearly enough, but, you know, that's fine. I'll get started. And, of course, they're digging through the grass. Love it. Very useful. Um... Actually, they are making more progress than I thought. I just hope Louis returns. I need more of his amazing cooking recipes. He truly is the Gordon Ramsay of the Pikmin universe. Seeds, we did not. 
know there's some blues over there, but too lazy to go get them. Oh yeah, there is a demo out, isn't there? I'm actually tempted to try it. I don't know, I'm assuming you found out the hard way, and not the way of getting... <laughs> this anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stuff. Dolphin. Four more parts. Yahoo! I mean... I wasn't laughing at you. It's not like I haven't lost all Winter Pikmin to the water. I've even lost some on this very playthrough. But mostly because I do not care for their lives. But they are in... they are easily reproducible. We need bombs. Don't go in the water. For the love of all that is holy, do not go into the water. Let's pick up the bombs. I think that's enough to clear out a lot of the roadblocks. If not all of them. I don't really need every single roadblock cleared, but at least a few of them. Some of the more egregious ones, like this one. like one more that is worth oh actually this one takes two well, i guess this is the only other one we're clearing now here's a question can i do this fight and not get smashed to pieces young me um oh there's a wall there never mind the first time young me did the fight through that wall um, I was very, very unlucky when the boss entered and lost, like, almost everyone in one second. One times. I'm assuming that's not going to happen here, because I'm a professional by this point. It's like I am very professionally dealing with the frog. I... Having him almost land on me every single time. There we go. Dead frog. Um, I don't remember this being too terribly difficult, so we're just gonna pretend it's not. Okay, pause. Okay, well, that was not too terribly difficult. In fact, that was literally the easiest I could possibly have been. Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battery chip is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. You had me sold on cool. Okay, so I'm gonna trust you guys to not... Okay. Ignore everything about trust. Wait until it goes. Go, 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 go. 
So many must die for my own impatience. True. And these Pikmin should definitely not trust me, but. Mutual. They make stupid decisions, and so I, in turn, guide them stupidly. I feel it's a nice work-life, uh, it's a nice supervisor-employee relationship we've got. No, 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 these are my employees. That is, uh, that fight taken care of. You know, perhaps a bit more derogatory than I view it, but yes, Master Slave kind of works. See, pets, there's good. Now, if only I could teach my cats to carry things around so I didn't have to. Now they're being lazy, I'm sure, instead of bringing me another soda. Tisk, tisk, tisk. The dolphin's fin. It is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've been great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Well. You can kind of fly if you don't recover all 30 parts, but no. The dolphin doesn't exactly look like it's space-worthy just yet, maybe. Um, I don't I think there's too much else I can get in the time allotted. I could be wrong. Um... There's actually two parts down there, um, but that wall, I saw a wall, yeah. That wall. Well, that wall is gone, maybe. There's a part down there. Yes, you want the sweet nectar. But there's none. Sucks to be you. Um... Right. I definitely need blue Pikmin. I think they can get it all the way, but they should be able to get it somewhat. Maybe. The number one Ionium jet. You know, they might not have hands, but if you get enough cats together, maybe they can... Their mouths? Their, their tails? I guess they're not prehensile enough. Fortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. This then is a small price to pay for such performance. Okay. Fast. Yeehaw. Go now. They're definitely not going to make it in time, but at least they can carry it some distance. Oh, actually, yeah, look at it. Well, knowing their pathing.
If ever there was a time to cut corners, this is it. I mean, that literally. There it is, just sitting right outside. Right outside me range. A cat king. Well... It... would work, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we, maybe there are some things that shouldn't be done. Where did you come from? Oh well. Guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. Pikmin that I did not bring back to the onion all vanished overnight. And maybe they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures, an ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. Turn to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. I mean, potentially that's true, but also then... How then have creatures not destroyed the, the dormant onions, if the onions are susceptible to creature attacks? Riddle me that, Mr. Scientist. I actually do think I want more yellows just because of spider. Oh, I keep forgetting there's still four or three Pikmin out somewhere. I'm very disappointed that you can't work for me. I, I understand. How would your lives go on without working for me? This is damaged. I'll be in dire straits. I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. Two more parts. Very good. Well... Mr. Min, it is time. It is time for many of you to die, probably. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Oh, wait, no, I need bombs still. Wait, it is time to find bombs, and then many of you will die, probably. But again, sacrifice, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, there's the nest. Get on with it. What? How? Where? Wow. Uh, quite, a, quite a few of you got uh, a bit lost, didn't you? Huh? That's, that's great. I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today, which is, uh, don't be like them. through here. Don't think that would be helpful or beneficial in any capacity. Alright. This surely will go well. I hear the music before he even appeared. Oh, hello. I'm not correct. 
you will pause. There he goes. Oh dear. What I always wondered is, what do these things actually eat? How do they eat? That's probably the more pressing question. How consume? so bad. Alright, great. The guards have fun. Keep space is still dangerous. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. And again, my question would be, was the satellite not on duty when you hit that asteroid? I'm going to guess no. Mr. Olimar, so oh my lord, I love you, Pikmin. You are wonderful. Thank you. I mean, I, that is more my fault. I should have remembered that, but I didn't. And I'm not going to take responsibility for it either. I'm just going to say that it's their fault and move on. I suggest they do the same. But the important thing is we got it. That's really all that matters in the end. Oh yeah, I can open this. But let's not dwell on the losses we suffered today. Instead, dwell on this door being opened. Progress, wonderful. There should be. Subtracting me from space pirates many, many times. I think we can get one more part today. I'm hoping we can get more than one more part today, but we can at least get one more. The question is, where are... We have that part, that part. There's only three more parts. Green, I think, yeah, that's where Pikmin died and left the seed. And there's those three blues. How many do I have out? I currently have, I need more yellows and blues. I actually don't have a lot of yellows left. Someone has been killing my yellow Pikmin. Don't know who or where, but they will answer to me eventually. However, more importantly, um, I know there's a part down there. Let me, um, this in yellows. Do you want to drown? Do, that's fine, we can arrange that. Just want to make sure you understand what you're getting into. Oh, right, that, it's all the way around. Not down that way. Right. Well, that is unfortunate. I had forgotten. I also probably need more bombs. Unlock the pack. Oh, but they can get the one that's in the big water. That is probably surrounded by frogs and other various creatures of the abyss. Oh, 
Come on, gentlemen. We have work to do. Sir, you will perform your duties admirably. I can think of no time that you've ever failed me. They're doing that. The yellow and blue Pikmin really like getting mixed up in each other's business. Oh, I will catch you later. It's nice to have you around. And to listen, Miss Roxy. You just need to... And no one's gonna be good at a game the first time they play it. Even Pikmin. too close to the frog. It's fine. It's his problem. The anti-dioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-causing agents. Oops. I think they'll be able to move around without clicking the planet's end. Feel the world's better. That is definitely the concern here. Since you're walking right in front of the frog, maybe you guys want to go a bit faster. Honestly, maybe you guys do too. Um, yeah, that should be good. I believe we're actually going to take another day to get another part. Unfortunate, but this is what it is. I can go pull these blue Pikmin, though. Trying to get them out of the ground. Oh, that's not a bomb wall. Is that the only other wall I really need to get? I believe it is. The others don't really matter. But I can at least get that done. Because... So it's one, two, three parts. And I have seen one distinctly. So not a big deal whatsoever. Did I leave yellow Pikmin somewhere? Oh, I, I did, in fact, leave the yellow Pikmin just hanging out. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Perhaps in... I will instead have them get some pellets to replenish their numbers. replenishment, but, you know. Alright, 
Okay. Now, this won't be enough blues to get the part fully. You stop with the grass. Yes, there's nectar there. You do not need it. And I know you won't stop until you have it, so there you go. Now you made me accidentally whistle for a yellow pickin'. with it, it's too close. Well, at least I don't want to mess with it. Um, in such a way that I don't have them supervised. But what I really want to do is do some damage to that. I think the elephant does not care at all that I'm here. In fact, um, you don't mind if I just go here, do you? Thanks. Oh, now you mind. I think fire is like literally the least hazardous of all hazards. Somehow. In theory, uh, I should be able to get the rest in just this amount of time, which is to say, this one day. I've seen that at times, the leaf atop of a pigment's head will grow into a bud and then into a flower. Whereas if it do not pick the pigment sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Wowie, this melting of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. Um, a flower pigment is faster. I'm assuming they're stronger, but it doesn't say that they're stronger. Also, when flower pigments die, they leave a sprout where they died. And the yellow population is so far behind the others. But that's fine. We don't need yellow pigment. Except for the times that we do. But, they are... Not overly necessary, mostly for bombs. So, what we're gonna do is gonna bring 40 blues, 30 of U's, and then 30 reds, which I believe will be more than enough to get the remainder of the parts. Pathway should be clear. Um, oh yeah, some Pikmin died, there's sprouts everywhere. Moderately interferes with my numbers, but that's... I'll worry about that later. Now, what we won't worry about is... Uh, this. Yeah. We won't worry about the enemies too much because most of them are not really in a position to be harmful. Um, I might have to lure the frog away depending on how these guys decide to take this part. So we will find out. I want to you to deal with this elephant. They should have no problem. And they are avoiding the enemies. Wonderful.
right, here we go. I will return with everyone else, and we shall make some progress. It would be nice if that wall was gone, but not a big deal. This wall is gone. Wonderful. Yes. Bring me my ship part. My soldiers. My minions, perhaps. Bring it now. It's all looking a little bit better. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. My search can now cover a wider area. I mean, you know, minus the fact that it's missing like a good 25% of its covering. Maybe not even that. Uh, it, uh, it looks better. Definitely looks better. I hope we can get the other two parts, because it would be a waste of a day to come back here and to get the other two. Not that we're speedrunning this or anything, but you know. meet the others and make some progress. Alright, I don't know where I'm missing six from. Oh yeah, never mind. I, I remember now. I uh, acknowledged it at the start, promptly forgot about it, and now I've acknowledged it yet again. As is tradition. Turn. Unless we miss the window by a minute, which would be unfortunate. Definitely a possibility, but hopefully not a reality. Almost, guys. Almost. One more? I think that's literally all that I need. Probably actually way more than I need. Uh, it's definitely way more than I need, because, uh... No one died somehow. And there's none even trapped up there. My Libra. My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. Sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. What exactly did she give you? Like, what What does this do? Now, again, I'm not, no spaceship expert, but, like, actually, what does this do? I would be very curious to know, Mr. Alomar. Huh? 
Why? Why would you do that? There's so many places you could go that's not there. I have to wonder. I have to wonder what you're thinking, Red Pikmin. Analog computer. This computer contains the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. But still, it is ours and we're taking it. Pretty sure that's how that works. Oh, this will be the more annoying piece because of the fire. Wow. Oh wow, the timing. Oh yeah, now can we keep up that good timing? No, we definitely can't. They're about to... Go, go, go. Okay, well there we go. They've already caught up to the other part. So let me uh, add some assistance to you guys. I know the water is very tempting, but perhaps, perhaps you... Well, they definitely deserve that. I cannot... Who is... What are you doing? What are any of you guys doing? Truly. Strange. Curious, even. The wonders of the Pikmin mind. Or the lack of their mind. They come. The last two parts of this area. Please tell me what this does. My daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her very worried. Okay, well, you know. We need 16 more parts. As in all but one part to increase our capabilities. Oh look, another part. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to aim. Just like my boss. Well, uh... We'll just... Random... I'm not even gonna assign anything appropriate, just... Pick, pick it up. Almost none went to the correct spot. That's fine. Are we still increased our numbers. We're doing fine. Probably still need more yellows more than anything, but you know. And I still did not get all of them to be flowers. Great. Most of them are. But that is not all. gonna go pick the ones that are still hanging idly about in the ground and then we will call this an early day not too early but early uh, nevertheless grand total of seven So, 
there should be three more. Oh no, there's just a red one over there somewhere, for some reason. For some reason. Huh? Where'd the flower go? No, I, I, I don't know. So we're just gonna not have him, I guess. He will forever be planted in the ground in this spot. For all time. Probably. I mean, I'll check to see if he phased back into existence, but I'm going to guess not. Verify. We've got all the parts. We most certainly do. He is still phased out of life. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, right. I think if you leave the flowers too long, they die and start their life cycle over again. Well, that's fine. But this day is done. And it is on to the next. The next beautiful day of Pikmans. I think we have time for one more day, and then that will be the end of stream, which unfortunately was shorter, but again, some real life stuff that took up a lot of time. I just increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I call it the distant spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now. I'm asleep. The yellow population number is still drastically lower. The distant spring. It is distant, but it is also beautiful in its own way. And it's got a lot of water, as you might observe. So much so, in fact, that uh, we're just going to go all water for now. I'm pretty sure there is part somewhere in the water. There's at least one. Let's so we'll get that one first. And also, so we can get rid of these frogs. Oh, they're dead. I am not calling them back. Right, there's only one that died. So that's fine. Not a huge deal either way. Let me build a bridge while I take a look around. There's a part. There's also what you might consider a mysterious egg. Very mysterious, even. Where is this part? Oh, that, that blowfish has got it. Well, we will get it. And it'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, 
I ignore you. Leave the frog there dead on the ground. Sure, one more won't really make a difference, but there you go. Wonderful. Come. We desire to be successful again. This time, hopefully, without failure. No, we definitely got failure. It's fine. Ish. for it by having the blues restock the work. And this number should be sufficient to grab this. So I hope they take it through the water and not across the bridge, because we really don't need to take it across the bridge. Massage machine. Put this right down in the lower back area and let it go to work. And wait until I get it installed again as my lower lumbar region has been it's the crash. Sweet relief. They are most certainly not going to take it around. They're gonna take it right into that guy's face. Maybe not. He uh is not as heavy a sleeper. But as it turns out, they did in fact avoid him, so. I'm proud of the Pikmin in this circumstance, this singular circumstance. Not him, he doesn't know how to pick that up, so that is a failure on his part. Excuse me, sir, can you not... Oh man, I would very much like you to not. All he really does is throw your Pikmin on the ground. Can't kill him, just like that Blowfish can't kill the Pikmin. They're just very annoying. Blowfish blows them around. As one might assume. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. Well, we are making good progress. We'll definitely finish before the life support systems run out. Alright. Really, sir? Really? Is it really necessary to be here? I think it's not, but here you are regardless. Glorious. Mysterious egg thing. We will deal with that later. Which is to say, not right now. I, I don't think it'll take a full day, but I'd rather just do it at the beginning of a day regardless. What we are going to do is deal with these shark type creatures. Which are dangerous.
not without casualties that they shall be dealt. Interstellar radio, not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space load right enough time for them. The dolphin, more comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. So this radio is very integral to traveling home. I'm sure. I'm sure that they are going the most efficient way. As one would assume most of the Pikmin, obviously. Oh, yep, very efficient. Look at them go. Very proud of you. Keep up the phenomenal work. Guess we're not getting that one. Why on earth? You know, whatever. It, it's fine. I guess. Meanwhile, we got this. The radio. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though, that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression not all parts are needed to fly the ship. There are five parts that are unnecessary, which includes the radio. I don't remember offhand what the others are. I'm assuming the space float was one. That would make the most sense to me. Um, let me see. With the current time being what it is, I think. There is a part right here, which might be easy to get. Maybe. Repair type bolt. This robotic marvel can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good. At least I can tear the board fixing little glitches. All right. Well, um, I think no one, no one fell off in a weird way, so we are good on that. Which means I will finally correct the problem we had with the population disparity. At least I will kind of fix it.
These are technically for red, but that's fine. We'll get Pikmin from it. Do we have another part? This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it's actually a repair robot. Twelve more parts, and then we can go to the final area. Thirteen more parts left in total. Um. The next nearest parts are there. We have to go around for that one. That one... We, uh, also, I mean, we're gonna have to go around for all of them, but nothing else over there, art-wise. Uh, So he dealt with him. Very nice. Now let's do that again. Because these enemies are just somewhat dangerous. They are very quick at eating Pikmin. Quick enough. Is it really in just three? Expecting more. Sorry, four. Not even gonna break a full wall, unfortunately. What are you doing there, huh? It's floating in the sky. Interesting, very interesting. Progress, some more yellow Pikmin to make up for uh, not having a lot. And that is yet another day completed. Another day. There appears to be a large cluster of parts, sir. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to cover virtually all of my missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. Really, there's only one piece. I must find 12 more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. Oh yeah, look, the yellows are about as populous as the reds are now. Blue, as it should be, is far above them all. In fact, yellow and red are equal. Well, with that said, we have made a lot of progress in one single two-hour stream of Pikmin. We have completed one area entirely. We have one part in the tutorial area, four parts there, and only seven parts. I say only seven, but seven parts remaining here. 
which isn't that bad. So. We will continue Pikmin, ideally tomorrow, along with um, Final Fantasy VI, or not VI, I wish, soon, Final Fantasy V. We didn't have any interruptions, but then again, now, uh, like I said, real life stuff. Just uh, I had a home offer accepted, so there's going to be a lot of panicky hecticness in my life, but it shouldn't inter interfere too much more with streaming, thankfully. The on call for work, well, I'm not on call till next week, but that will interfere as it does. But we will still. Getting all of Pikmin done before 4 comes out. So, for now, I want to thank each and every one of you wonderful people that stopped by. I appreciate and I love you all, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your night. So, you know, as they say, I will catch you.